Hi mate. In this video, I'll show you to patch KSU in two kernels. One is kernel 5.4 for, for Nothing Phone 1 and uh, it's a GKI kernel. And another one is a 4.9 for Poco F1 and GKI kernel. So first I'll compile Nothing Phone 1's kernel as we don't need to edit any file manually. Just have to clone kernel SU and add to the kernel config by kernel SU cell script. So just search kernel SU on Google and uh, click on the git repository link like the second one now here uh, click on how to build and at the bottom of this page you will get the uh, cell script link with the curl command so you only have to copy this uh, command and uh, in the root directory of the kernel source we have to run this uh, command the curl command by the way, it will uh, clone the repository and uh, patch the kernel key config and make file by itself. You can check the cell script and make the changes manually as well if you want. But uh, yeah, you can just do it by the curl command as well. So I'll do that with the curl command because in the GKI kernels, it will work. We don't need to manually edit any file. Now here I am in the root path of my kernel source. So after running this command, it will clone the repository and make the changes in kconfig and make file. Now you can check the yeah here kernel issue is cloned and in the drivers folder we can confirm if the entry is added or not ok in the last you can see that kernel issue is added here same as in make file as well like you see kernel issue is added here as well now after cloning the ksu repository time to compile the kernel so I already created two docker instances for both kernels. Let's run phone one's instance and compile the kernel. By the way, let me know in the comment box if you guys wanted a short walkthrough on docker as well. So this is the docker container. Yeah, it's started now. Uh, I won't make any other changes in the kernel config so just check if the kernel is going to be there or not and then we will start the compilation process ok so my def config and uh, after this make menu config you can find the kernel as your entry in the bottom of drivers menu as you can LSU script added the entry in the end of keyconfig file in the driver folder. Now time to run make. While it's compiling let's see the docs of kernel SU. Now here we are. Let's check the non GKI patching guide. Ok here you can see two methods are uh, mentioned here to port kernels in older devices but I suggest you to go with manually patching the kernel as the kprop method maybe leads to boot loop. I also create the boot loop issue in Poco F1. Yeah but you can give it a try only have to enable three options. But I will go with manually modify the kernel source. We only have to make changes in 5 files to make kernel SU work. But uh, first you can try to patch using patch dry run just to check if the patch is correct for your kernel. But I will go with manually editing the files. As the patch source code mentioned on the wiki is not same as Poco F1's kernel source. 
Meanwhile, let's unpack the boot image. I already packed up the boot image from my Nothing Phone 1. On GKI based devices, you won't see kernel DTP files in the boot image after unpacking. So we only have to replace this kernel file with uh, image file after compilation of the kernel. So here our kernel is almost compiled. Ok it's done in 4 minutes. Let's repack the boot image and boot it and see if it's working or not. Okay, so new boot image is also ready and I won't flash the boot image I will just use fast boot command to boot the image directly so here the device is connected with ADB now reboot to bootloader and then we will boot the image Fast boot devices, okay. So it's up now. Fast boot boot and the image file name. Ah, it will take a few sec. Okay, it's done. Now let's open kernel SU app, and yeah, here you can see it's working. So that's all for this video. We'll see how to patch manually in the next part of this video.